Brazil! Brazil. Brazil has leaked. McDonald's Brazil has leaked. Actually, some employee leaked the Happy Meal toys. The Happy Meal toys, do you know what the main sources of leaks are? McDonald's, Funko Pop dolls, Hasbro dolls, Lego dolls, and we also have Tom Holland, our beloved Spider-Man, and Mark Ruffalo, our beloved Hulk. If you put all of this together, we know everything. And what happens? Well, there's a planning for the Happy Meal toys. When we, for example, think here in the case of Captain America that he's going to premiere February 14th, 2025, we think like, damn, two years ahead, McDonald's already knows they have closed the contract because each period has the Happy Meal there. Sometimes it's a month, sometimes it's two months, it's three months, I don't know by heart, but there's a calendar. McDonald's invests, they need to manufacture the products, they need to store them, they need to advertise in short they need to do their job right and what happens when there's a writer's strike actors strike pandemic etc etc the movies change dates and when they change dates it screws up McDonald's right and on top of that he keeps the toys stored somewhere in the warehouse and then an employee comes along takes a picture and sends it to his cousin and when he sends it to his cousin the secret leaks out so that's more or less what happens. It even happened with the Marvels, although no one liked the movie, but anyway, right? What leaked here? First, it leaked that there will be a Red Hulk. We'll have to find out that there will be Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford is playing Thunderbolt Ross since the original actor died, and then we didn't know if he was gonna turn into a Red Hulk. Look at what McDonald showed, right? In addition, we also have Falcon's little buddy, who is now Falcon, since Falcon is Captain America. Cool, we see Rattlesnake, but it had been cut, right? The Serpent Society was cut, but Cascabel is here, so there's some remnant of the old script, right? That was cut. There were even recordings. He's here, look how interesting. Now, you know who we don't see there? The Hulk's villain, right? because we know that the Hulk's villain, the so-called Dio leader, was there in the Hulk in the movie before Mark Ruffalo, right? It was another actor there, it was Edward Norton. And then what happens? There, Tim Blake Nelson, at the end of the movie, he was like, he was contaminated there by the radiation, by the Hulk's blood, and he becomes the leader. The leader is a classic Hulk villain of Hulk. We know that the Hulk can't go to the MCU to have a solo movie. That's why he always appears with the Hulk, with Thor, for example. And now it's going to be a Captain America movie, kind of with the Hulk, with the Hulk's villain, right? Anyway, we're going to have the Red Hulk. We're going to have the leader. Anyway, my weirdness is that he's not here in the picture. Anyway, what do you guys think? Were you excited? What do you think of this release? Comment below. I want to know.